Uh, Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on H.R. 219. Objection. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. I want to thank Chairman Schuster of the Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure for his leadership on this legislation. His knowledge and years of experience on these issues have been critical to crafting this legislation and bringing it before the House for consideration today. I also want to thank Ranking Member Norton, uh, Member Ray Hall, and former Chairman Micah for all of their work and support for these reforms. H.R. 219, the Sandy Recovery Improvement Act of 2013, will save money and help devastated communities rebuild much faster than under current programs. However, in order to help those communities impacted by Sandy, the FEMA Administrator has made it very clear these reforms must be signed into law by March 1st. Many of these reforms have already passed, been passed by the House in September as part of H.R. 2903. There's also widespread and bipartisan support for these reforms in the Senate. In addition, this bill has strong support from key stakeholders and experts representing emergency managers, state and local officials, and tribal communities. We know these reforms work. Chairman Schuster laid the groundwork in 2006 when his post-Katrina Reform Act authorized FEMA to conduct a number of recovery pilot programs. The results are very clear. In each case, costs were dramatically reduced, projects were completed faster, and the process was much more efficient. For example, without making permanent the debris removal pilot program, the taxpayer could end up paying six times the cost of debris removal, and it will take much longer. The Individuals and Households pilot program incorporated in this bill would reduce costs by a similar amount and make temporary housing available faster. In hearing after hearing before our committee, experts, FEMA, and the Inspector General's Office have all testified communities will be rebuilt faster and taxpayers will save hundreds of millions of dollars with this bill. We know the current process is broken and we finally know how to fix it. We have to change the law by March or it will be too late to apply those lessons to Sandy Recovery. It's been nearly eight years since Hurricane Katrina and there are still projects that are unresolved. We don't want to make the same mistakes happen with Hurricane Sandy. These reforms will help address those problems, streamline the process, and allow communities to rebuild faster and smarter and save money. The provisions of H.R. 219 are proven and common sense reforms that have bipartisan support. I urge my colleagues to support passage of H.R. 219, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves the balance of his time.